here with Nate Hereford, who is the executive chef at Niche Restaurant in Clayton, Missouri. And what you're doing here is incredibly unique, not just for our region, but in the country. And you only are cooking with ingredients that are from within a 200 mile radius of the restaurant. Exactly, so a lot of our focus, like as you said, is cooking uh, super regional uh, Missouri cuisine. It kind of gives you a nice definition of where we come from and also supports our local agriculture um, systems that come up. Specifically as it relates to fish, seafood, things like that, what are some of the ways that you're sourcing those ingredients? Um, you know, it's been a variety of different ways. Uh, we've gotten in touch with some uh, great fisheries, uh, places like Troutdale Farms down in uh, Troutdale, Missouri. And then uh, we also use Show Me Caviar as well, coming out of Morrison and Gasconade County. Um, and I mean, sometimes, you know, we just catch carp. You know, it just kind of depends on where we're at. We'll take parts of uh, the trout from Troutdale and we'll turn it into fish sauce. Or we'll make a soy sauce out of it. And then we'll make, you know, maybe a smoked trout broth. And we just kind of try to look at food differently. So, caviar. No one would think that such high quality caviar in particular would come from the waters here in Missouri, but they, they really, it really does. You know, when I first came here, I was kind of blown away by the quality of the local caviar and it's local caviar. So caviar always works well with something. So we're doing um, a caviar taco. Kind of cool, something unique that you don't really hear of every day, caviars and tacos. It's kind of like but, a play uh, on the fish taco. Yeah, exactly, you know, but it kind of demonstrates what we're doing here at the restaurant, like super local ingredients. Uh, we're taking wheat berries, we're making our own masa out of the wheat, and then uh, we have the, the caviar, uh, it's kind of the star of the show. We also have some pork chicharrones and a little bit of hot sauce, because it's a taco after all. I can't wait, let's get in the kitchen and see how that comes together. So here we are, we're gonna make uh, masa tacos uh, with caviar. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cook the masa, uh, tortillas um, and the surprising thing is is the aroma is very similar to corn from the uh, nixtamalization process however the uh, wheat kind of gives it a, a darker more robust flavor and I like to kind of think of it as a little more Missouri. We fermented some uh, habanero peppers coming to us from Burger Bluff Farms. We also have a little bit of yogurt and then we have uh, some other things some nasturtium we got from our friends at Ozark Mushrooms and then some anise hyssop that we grew ourselves and then we have the pork chicharrones. And these are coming to us from Newman Farms and the paddlefish caviar. So we're just start with a little bit of yogurt in the bottom, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of pork skins, and then just a little bit of the hot sauce. It's kind of funky, adds a really nice note. So the caviar, we kind of like to go big because once again, it's caviar, it's an awesome product. And then we have uh, the hyssop. Hyssop's gonna give kind of a nice uh, anise note. I like to kind of think of it almost as like uh, root beer kind of flavor, and then um, some of the shredded nasturtium leaf, and then some nice uh, flowers. And then we'd have our caviar tacos.